Hey, what's going on? Um, came across this video, and this is the clear cut evidence of what I've been talking about in regards to Africans and foreign blacks, Caribbeans not uh, being our people, number one. And, and the reason why they're more successful is because the white man lets them off the hook. And we've all noticed this, like I keep telling you. Africans and a lot of Caribbeans, they rarely live in white neighborhoods. They don't live in black neighborhoods. Some Caribbeans do, usually when they first get here, but they build up their stuff real quick. The accent uh, differentiates them from us, and it, 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 it like triggers something in white people and other people that, hey, okay, you're okay. You can... Uh, have the American dream, you can have a home, you can have a nice job, you can have a nice education, we'll leave you alone. But as soon as you say you're a black American, oh, all of a sudden you can't get hired, you can't move into this place, you can't do anything. The stereotypes come out. And myself, this is why so many people always ask me what my nationality is. Why would you ask someone what their nationality is if they are in the United States? Obviously, this means I want to know who you are before I treat you a certain way or do not treat you a certain way. And this is what we have to understand. This is what I've been trying to tell people. The others are not concerned with us. As you can hear in this clip, and this is back 50 something years ago. The African, who clearly looks like an African, he doesn't, yeah, only black people, white people who aren't mis, uh, really uh, paying attention to black people <laughs> would think he was a black American. But as you can hear, he was flabbergasted by the fact that uh, he was treated with the, the treatment we get. But once he opened his mouth and they heard that he was an African, then they changed, uh, they flipped the script and everything was cool. Again, this goes to prove that Africans, foreign blacks, Indians, they're black too. They, the reason why they're more successful is because the white man is not on their asses. That's why they're more successful. We have the white man's boot on our necks all of the time. And this video proves it. And um, again, you can see that the Ghanaian, he was pretty shocked at what happened. He's like, he can't believe it. One minute he's uh, being discriminated against because he's black. But once, he, once they find out that he's not a black American, oh, okay, well, we'll let you go. And this explains why most of these foreign blacks don't fight on our side uh, in whatever endeavor we're in because they like, hey man, we don't want any problems. So they kind of stay away, which I, I can technically understand. But then, like the video I just had with Sagoon, don't try to claim our shit when you're speaking. Don't do that. You know, that's not cool. And, um,. You know, you got to stick to your own people. If you want to help us, cool, but don't try to adopt and steal our heritage because you did not face the same discrimination as we did. And if you heard the Sagoon Adu, whatever the hell his name is, video, I can't even pronounce the name. That's how you know he's not one of us. <clears throat> but he claims that he is subject to everything that we are. That's not the case because, as you can hear, the African man clearly says that's not the case. And that was at the height of white racism when this happened. Again, this is how the Asians, the Africans, the Indians, this is why they're able to come here and fulfill the American dream. While we're here and we're denied the American dream. And a side note, you can see that the Asian... His main concern was making money. He didn't give a damn about the racism or not. And that's how they basically are. They're kind of 
turn the other cheek passive and they just want the money. They don't give a damn about the voting. They don't care about equality. They just want the money. Because after a while, the money gets you power. You know the Scarface line. I don't have, the, I don't have to tell you about that. So you, you can see the difference in the Asian man's face as he tells his story. You know, he, he, he's not concerned with any of that. The Ghanaian, the African, he's kind of just shocked and like, well, uh, call me a black man, call me an African. Don't, don't call me a Negro. Meaning, don't call me one of those black Americans. I'm not one of them. So again, you look around today. Africans, they can come from wherever in Africa. South Africa uh, is one on a job. South African uh, people can't speak fucking English. They're living in nice homes. I'm like, man, what the fuck is going on? And I told you about my Nigerians in, in the comment section. Now, they did work. I, I, I give them the credit. But see, they're able to work and succeed because they don't have the white man on their back. It's like a gangster mentality. If you're a black American, you're asked out. It's to the point now, people, if you're applying for a job, you might as well um, allude on your cover letter that you're from some, your people from someplace else. You know, that, that, that might be a good thing. You might get the job that way. So you can watch this clip. I'm sure you've probably seen it. Uh, well, my man just put it out. But out of the whole clips that he showed, this one is the one that made me say, aha. See, this is for the black people who always need proof. Here you go. This is the proof. You can't deny it now. As a Negro, have you encountered any social barriers anywhere? Well, I think before I answer your question, I should like to get this point uh, straight, that I don't quite like that name, Negro. What um, would you prefer to be called? Well, I would prefer to be called either, either as an African or the black man. Uh, I, I feel the Negro is a uh, is a name that has a, a bad connotation. And in the second place, I never had anyone refer to me as a Negro. You mean in your own country? No. And uh, I just felt strange, as if I had worn somebody else's name. Well, uh... I should say that on the whole, Americans are very race conscious. And uh, as a black man, uh, I've met some people who have uh, had, had treated me with uh, contempt or they have discriminated against me. But as soon as they realized I wasn't a native here, their attitude has had such a sudden change that uh, it's remarkable. Did you notice any difference in attitude among the people here when they find out that you are an African or black man instead of an American Negro? Well, I think there is no question about that. Uh, what do you think of uh, this country in general terms since you have been here? Uh, but I don't like, this is something, uh, I don't think people here can help it, like uh, the uh, uh, rude uh, uh, treatment that the customers, uh, customers get here when they buy things. You see, and, and this is very unusual for us uh, uh, Asian because uh, we have a great regard for money and we, we, we work quite hard for our money and we spend money, we, get, we expect to get uh, due uh, courteous treatment. But here uh, you spend your money and sometimes you get insulted. And, and this is not only my case, this is uh, true uh, even for Americans. So I don't take this as a personal or racial insult.